Bark. Hello, Mr. Sir Pops a lot. How are you? Hello, listeners. How are you? Uh, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And uh, we're here on the server waiting for it to load in. Uh, Riskens, he is on. He's died a few times. Uh, he built, I think I showed you, he built a giant pile of mushrooms. And he's been jumping off of it into his giant pit. And yeah, and uh, not always, I don't know what he's aiming at, but he's not hitting it much. So, all right. So there's a few things I realized that uh, we could uh, we could do. And yeah, so let's uh, let's take care of a couple couple pieces of business. Um, oh, hang on a second. I hear a doggy. Hi, hi, doggy. How are you? You don't have a name yet, but you got a purple collar. Very nice. Hello, welcome back. Um, yeah, I'm over at VexFX's place scouting out some stuff and I need some milk so let's uh let's go oh interesting you might notice something about that um he's got some cows down here look at that cows 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 uh I need some milk and you get milk from cows oh, yeah hello guys so let me do this I have some buckets you can probably guess what I'm going to do. Ouch. Milk. 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 Oh, you can milk the cows frequently. Okay. Oh, all right. So there's there's uh, Riskensi's mushroom, giant mushroom pile. He, uh, he went out to the... <laughs> he went out to the, uh, the mushroom island. Got himself some, some uh, mycelium. And, uh, and found that if you plant a mushroom on the mycelium and uh, then bone meal it, it grows into a big giant mushroom. And then he just started piling more mycelium on top of it and, and so on. So it's pretty crazy. You don't see that very long. It does pretty much go up to build limit. Uh, and you can, he's got a little walkway. You can walk up there. He also plopped down some mycelium <laughs> over here to make a little path. And the mycelium was uh, threatening to take over the world. So I, uh, I I put some coarse dirt around it to contain it because we didn't we didn't need the savanna turning into a uh, mycelium biome because it wouldn't have crossed the river. But I, yeah, I mean, I like the mycelium and all the little particle effects are kind of cool. Bloop, bloop, bloop. But uh, that's uh not what I want. This bridge is just—it's just that you can't you can't sail a boat under it, so I may have to rebuild this bridge for him. But you know that's fine. Sunrise. Uh, let's go over here, and I'll show you what uh, Barb makes things is up to. She's building a little house. She was on a little earlier, but uh, it's not on now. So I've been showing her around, showing her some of the stuff on the server, like uh, you know. The chicken cooker over here, where she can get food. There's still some chicken left. There's some feathers too. We're gonna have to do something about those feathers. They will take over the world. And and she's building a little house. I left some. I left some watermelons for her. Um. So yeah, this is her place. It's a little small, and she's still she's still working on it. Um. I think she's just roughing in the shape, and then. She's got a nice view of the uh, the mushroom tower, doesn't she? All right, and yeah, so I don't know what all this is going to be. Little looks like a little modern, modern mid-century modern, uh, modern design sort of uh, thing going on. And this down here, she's she figured out that if you put vines on stuff, they you can use them like ladders. And she's got a little area down here, and she. She messaged me to ask if she could make water, like a glass wall under the water. I'm like, yeah, you can do anything. So uh, that's what she did. So I think we'll have a chat with her and I'll suggest maybe stained glass because it might look a little better against the water, like a light blue stained glass maybe. 
and I might help her a little bit with the water there. She's got some water flowing issues, but water in Minecraft is tricky, so, and she's, uh, she doesn't, she's has experience playing creative in Minecraft, but she hasn't, this is her first time doing survival. So let's snoop. Why is she had so many stone swords? She must have accidentally shift clicked some stone swords out of her inventory. Oh, she's got a little bit of iron. That's good. And she's smelting up some, uh, oh, but she's using blanks as fuel. I guess that works. Um, this is kind of cool. She started building these little tunnel networks over here. I'm not quite sure what, where they're going. I don't know if this is her mining, um, in which case she's a little high up for anything really good, but, um, but maybe she's going to make like a huge underground city over here. That can be cool. So we'll see. But in the meantime, let's go back home and uh, take care of a couple things. Bark, bark. Hello. Okay. Wait. Hi. Hi. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, there you go. Hi. All right. So we're back at home. Um. And I was talking with VexFX about a couple things, and he mentioned uh, achievements. And I hadn't really been paying attention to the achievements, and I have most of them, but there are a few so that I don't have. One is adventure adventuring time. I don't know. I've I've never gotten that in before, so I don't know. Um, uh, that's I know it's like there's a ton of biomes that you have to get to I've never seen any of the really cold biomes like the ice spike biome and the and those so maybe when I wander down and find the I go out to the ice spike biome that VexFX found um, but I haven't been to yet maybe that will trigger it I don't know eat a notch apple since you can't craft these anymore this has become more difficult I had one it was in my pocket when I died and it despawned so I have to go I have to go exploring maybe I go out more end cities and hopefully find one who knows uh, but two I can deal with right now these are easy and I just haven't done them because I haven't done them right so I can do this bread woo cheap and get baked bread and then the other one is a little bit more complicated let's see if I can remember it so I think it's, you mix cake and, and sugar to make the sort of the body. There's wheat for the base and then frosting, right? Cake. Oh, yay. Jeep and get the lie and you get the buckets back. Thank you. Okay, very good. So I now have those two achievements taken, taken. When pigs fly, let's go deal with this. All right. Well, welcome back to the community area. It's a, it's a lovely day. Um, and uh, and by lovely, I mean horrible. It's obviously it would be raining if I were out over the by the water, um, but it's not. And I'm in search of a pig. Um, I. I think I saw some out over this way, so we'll just go. Oh, puppies. Uh, is there an easy way up there? Uh, easy as relative. Um, yeah, so let's go find a pig, and then we will... Ah. Oh, poppies. Let me get some poppies. I need lots of poppies. So, um, yeah, so today is December 8th, 2016. Uh, as per usual, I will be uploading this uh, a little bit. I see a pig over there. Uh, I will be uploading this in a, in a few weeks, probably, so. This isn't super current events. Hi, Mr. Pig. How are you? Can I put a saddle on you? Yeah, look at that. And then I can get on you. And then 
look, I can I can steer you around. So, oh yeah, it is raining over there. So let's find a cliff. Sorry about this, Mr. Pig. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. The pig did not like that, and I didn't get the achievement. Let's get off the pig. What is the achievement? Fly a pig off a cliff. I can't remember how many blocks it needs to be. Pig is obviously scared of me and probably should be. Probably has every right to be scared because of what I'm about to do. Oh, what is this? Somebody start digging in there for no obvious reason. Ow. So, I hurt the pig a little bit. I don't want to kill the pig doing this. But, um, but I do want the achievement. So, will this be enough? We will find out. Hi, Mr. Pig. Let me get on you. Okay. Oh, achievement get when pigs fly. Hi, Mr. Pig. How are you? You're hurt a little bit. How do we, how do we heal you up? What do you need? I should have brought more carrots. Yeah, I should have brought more carrots. Um, well, let's see how far we can get you back home. There's a mountain in, in the way, so this may not work so well. But maybe I uh, hold you up somewhere and come back with some carrots. Because I'm sure I can get some carrots relatively easily. Oh yeah, right over there in that slaughter's place. We can uh, get carrots in there. You could make a pig. You could make a pig. So, uh, as I was saying, it's the, the 8th in 2016. The world of just pain and misery of 2016 continues. Um, today, Greg Lake of Emerson, Lincoln Palmer, and King Crimson died. Or it was announced today that he died. Um, I don't know if he actually died today or not. Uh, so that's two members of Emerson, Lincoln Palmer, uh, dying. No, they need, I need, I need, ah, uh, uh, died, died this year, which is really sad. Uh, so hopefully, uh, Mr. Palmer gets to live to see 2017. Um, and I mean that sincerely. That's I, it's kind of a jokey thing to say, but I, I do mean it. It's just it's really sad. So, oh, how do I heal the pig? Oh, maybe I can't. Okay. Uh, can I ride the pig into the portal? <laughs> maybe I can bring the pig home. Give the pig a, a nice, nice life. Um. I can make the I can get the pig over to uh, Vex's place. Let's do that. So, so that's that. And then uh, John Glenn, who was the first American to orbit the Earth, also passed away today. He was ninety-five, and he was active right up until the end. Uh, but so, very sad. So we're into into December, and it just keeps on coming. Um, so that's. That's not great, but you know, it happens, I guess. So I'm, I'll get this pig over to Vex's place, and we'll get him, get him tied up somewhere uh, where he can't do much harm, and then we'll go on to the next time. All right. I feel like Hannibal riding across into uh, into Africa or into Italy or wherever Hannibal rode to. Oh, a skeleton horse got out. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, so so Bex has a uh, tripwire across his walkway there and sets off fireworks when it goes off. Uh, when, it's, when somebody walks past it. Where do the pigs live? Where do the pigs live? They live down here. Oh, there's... Oh, Obviously, there's the pig with which Vex 
made the accomplishment, uh, got that achievement. So he's got two now. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Hi. I don't have a spare saddle on me. Sorry. You'll be okay. Uh, don't walk into the cactus. <sighs> um, feel like I should do something about this. Do I have a saddle on my under chest? Maybe I do. That would be smart if I did. But of course I don't. Because why would I? Okay. Okay, we'll leave him here. I'll, I'll let Vex know. And we will... Uh, all right, um, let me get back home. I may as well do it through the portal up here, and then uh, I'll be back with you. Got another mushroom. So my supply of mushrooms is growing somewhat steadily. Of course, I could grow giant mushrooms, cut them down with a fortune axe, and it would it would get me lots of little mushrooms. Uh, so I started digging out another floor down here. Um, the deeper I go into the mountain, of course, the the uh, the more I can spread out. I think this is as far as I can go this way, and I think I'm hitting the limit over here, kind of, at least at this corner. But I think I can go back that way a little bit farther. So I was looking around, and this is just getting tedious. I mean, I can do it, but uh, so I decided i have a couple of uh of beacons that i'm not using so let's uh and i was trying to figure out where to put a beacon in my place and i don't need to go too far down so let's uh there's kind of an obvious place let's uh let's put it right here i don't think lily pads i have water there i don't think lily pads are transparent unfortunately but i have some carpet here so let's uh We'll take out that and then so I need I want I need some water here still I want all this to remain hydrated if I dig it up so that means see it's already starting to dry up uh, so I've got to hurry up here so beacon um, and then one two three four layers down right whoops give me some torches there we go cool so Of course, this part will be tedious, but I have all the supplies I need, so I'm going to let's start. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a beacon here so we can dig out the room down below in a slightly more efficient manner. So let me take care of this, and I'll be right back. I've never built a beacon from the inside. <laughs> uh, it gets a little confusing remembering where everything is placed and I don't want empty blocks around there don't need to have that so we're almost done here though All right oh no no that's where the beacon goes and I have the beacon right here and it should turn on there we go look at that very exciting and I have some water and I'll go through the water just fine very nice and I have some carpet so I need to get more water now before I go caving or something there we go there's red carpet so I just grab this water this water here was it was an experiment to see because it actually rains in this spot here and the water was an experiment to see if water up here would freeze. Oh, so the next thing, of course, um, wait, let's fill in my little water spot here. And the beacon isn't doing anything because I need to feed it. So let's, let's feed it. And I think I can do that. Can I do that through the, no, I don't think so. Oops. But I should be able to do it through the water. Yeah. Okay, so in this case... Oops. Oh. Cooperate, fingers. So I want haste. And let's put this in. Boop. Give me haste. 
Let me see haste. Thank you. Okay. Now I have some more beats that I don't really want or need. All right. So now we have a beacon. And that should take us easily down. Oh, there's pigs right over there. There are pigs in eye shot of where I was uh, living. Okay. Uh, okay. So I can put put this stuff away. There we go. Now, oh, where do I keep lily pads? Oh, I keep lily pads in here. Very nice. And flowers, I keep flowers in here. And carpet. I'm sorry, I'm a little, I want to keep stuff put away. I do have a wool thing here, right? Yep. And carpets, I can keep down there. All right. So, that should give me, I should be able to dig out that bottom area a little bit easier, more easily now. Let's go try it out. I'm not gonna dig it out on camera, but um, I wanted a little space to try uh, farming some flowers. I need red poppies. There we go. That's pretty good. Very nice. All right. Very good. Okay. So there we go. Um, so I think that was, that was all I wanted to clear up the last few achievements and I've been waiting to do that so I can do it on camera. Uh, and then the, the notch apple, I, that's just a matter of whenever it happens to show up, I will get it. Um, and I think I had a notch apple in my pocket when I went to go take on the, uh, the dragon. I think that's where I lost it. Uh, so it's. I'll go check the end. I, I doubt I just threw it in a chest there. I'm pretty sure I would have brought that home. So I think it's gone. I think it despawned. But as I said, we'll go out and go out and look, find more end cities, because I need I need an elytra. It's uh it's been too long, and I don't have one. But this space down here, I will use as a as an experimental space. I'm going to put down some dirt and mow meal some flowers and farm some flowers and just do grindy stuff while I'm watching TV or movies or something. And I think we can keep going back this way, right? Yep, I don't see daylight. Cool. So there we go. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. And uh, this has been, this is Theron. Uh, this has been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right? Bye. Clancy says, uh, or that's Bowser. Bowser says bye too. Bye.